The score right now is Brownsville Porter 40, La Jolla Palmview 20. That means Palmview, you get to go first in the grab bag round. Dr. Burke has three envelopes from which to choose. You can pick any one you like. She'll hand it to me and I'll ask you the questions. Two. Number two. Number two it is. You've got 60 seconds to answer the 10 questions in this envelope. If you don't know one, say pass, okay? And we'll come back to it if there's time within the 60 seconds, all right? Your category is, in other words, they're proverbs. For example, if I say, a coin you put away is as good as one you work for, that's a penny saved is a penny earned, okay? So here we go. 60 seconds. Arrive with no effort, leave with no effort. Pass. Wretchedness cherishes fellowship. Pass. Battle combustion by using combustion. By fire with fire? Yes. Permit snoozing canines to go undisturbed. Pass. Ill tidings are disseminated quickly. Pass. Not in view, not in memory. Um, out of sight, out of mind? Yes. Nothing compares to your own residence. There's no place like home? Yes. Annunciation is simpler than execution. Actions are better than words? No. A simpleton is quickly separated from his cash. Pass. The 24th letter indicates the location. X? Oh, um, X marks the spot? Yes. We'll go back. Arrive with no effort, leave with no effort. Pass. Wretchedness cherishes fellowship. Time is up. All right. How many of you get correct? Four correct puts you up to uh, 40 points. All right, let's go over the others. Arrive with no effort, leave with no effort was easy come, easy go. Wretched, like that question. Wretchedness cherishes fellowship. Misery loves company. Uh, permit snoozing canines to go undisturbed. Let sleeping dogs lie. Ill tidings are disseminated quickly. Bad news travels fast. Enunciation is simpler than execution. It is easier said than done. A simpleton is quickly separated from his cash as a fool and his money are soon parted. All right, but you up to 40 points, ties the game. Now, Porter, it's your turn. Two envelopes remain, one and three. Choose the one you want. Three. Number three it is. Same rules, 60 seconds, 10 questions. Pass if you don't know. You've chosen the category geography. Geography, okay? 60 seconds, that's all we have to go by. Here we go. Which country is bordered by Algeria and Tunisia? Nigeria? No. What country forms the eastern border of the Gaza Strip? Russia? No. The Bellinghausen Sea, the Amundsen Sea, and the Weddell Sea all border what land? India? No. The Dardanelles and the Bosporus are examples of what kind of feature? Mountains? No. Myanmar is a former colony of which European power? Great Britain? Yes. What country is a broad peninsula on the west coast of Great Britain? Italy? No. In what country is Chamonix Valley located? Europe? No. Which tribe's name was first on a bay, then on a colony, then on a state? Pennsylvania? No. What is the largest city named for a military governor turned U.S. president? Washington? No. D name the most, and that's it. Okay. We stand, got one correct. So you're up to 45 points, took the lead back. The country bordered by Algeria and Tunisia was Libya. The country that forms the eastern border of the Gaza Strip was Israel. Bellinghausen Sea, Edmonton Sea, and the Weddell Sea are all bordering Antarctica. The Dardanelles and Bosporus are examples of straits. The country that has a broad peninsula on the west coast of Great Britain is Wales. Chamonix Valley is in France. Uh, the tribe's name that was first a bay, then a colony, then a state was Massachusetts. And the largest city named for a military governor turned U.S. president is Jacksonville. All right? Now there's one category nobody chose. Category number one. So we all play on this one, okay? So you need your buzzers on this. No passing. We've got 60 seconds still, and the category nobody chose is devices. All right, devices. That's all we have to go by. You ready? Need your buzzers. Here we go. Patients with faulty sinoatrial nodes may have what device implanted to help regulate heartbeat? That's Porter Enrique. Pacemaker? Yes. What device in cars greatly reduces carbon monoxide emissions? That's Porter Jose. Intercooling system? No. Palm you anyone? Time is up. Catalytic converter. When this 19th century invention was explained to Chief Shokup, he gave it a Shoshone name meaning Wire Rope Express. That's Palm View Jose. Telegraph? Yes. What do you call a miniaturized electric circuit built on a microchip? That's Palm View Jose. Circuit board? No. Porter, anyone? Jose? SIM card? 
That's an integrated circuit or micro circuit. Doping is manipulation of the crystals of what class of solids found in transistors? Porter, Jose. Batteries? No. Paul, have you anyone? Time is up. Semiconductors. GM introduced this engine innovation in 1940 with the slogan, no gears, no shift, no clutch to press. Time is up. You're going to say automatic transmission, weren't you? But it's too late. So our score now after the grab bag is Porter 55, Palm View 50. We've got a good game going on. We're going to take a break. We come back. It'll be time for art and music where each question is worth 20 points. It can be a game changer. Don't go away. <laughs> 